Sign up all Dollywoods, all aglow. The annual harvest festival is in full swing with a great pumpkin luminite. WBIR 10 News reporter Yvonne Thomas has been carving out some time this morning to check it all out, take in all those fall festivities. Good morning, Yvonne. Heather Leslie, good morning, and that's absolutely right. You know, it finally feels like fall in the air. It feels pretty crisp, and it looks like fall here at Dollywood. The Great Pumpkin Luminites, the Harvest Festival is going on in full effect. Wes Ramey is here with us this morning. Talk to us. There's so many intricate details in all of these designs. Who is actually behind the carving of these pumpkins? Yeah, so some of the larger displays, you know, we've had teams that work to create the, these displays, but for the actual real pumpkins that you will find throughout the park, we have a crew that is working around the clock basically over at uh, Dollywood Splash Country mm -hmm. carving these pumpkins and then every morning before the park opens they'll make a pass through all of the Great Pumpkin Luminites displays to make sure that all the pumpkins look good and if some are starting to rot it has been very hot so that leads to them uh, going not so well yeah. they'll come over and replace them every day so that folks who come in every night have a perfect experience and everything is great for them. Wow and this is just one of the big features and events for the Harvest Festival. Yes. Kind of bring us up to speed with how that's going so far. Yes. So Great Pumpkin Luminots through the evening. We're open until 9 p.m. every every night. But during the day, we open at 10 a.m. And we have the Southern Gospel Jubilee, which is basically the largest Southern Gospel experience you'll find anywhere. Um, throughout the run of the festival, which runs through November 2nd, we'll have about 600 individual performances that are all included with park admission. And then we also have uh, dozens of crafters that we bring in who do hands-on displays of a number of crafts, just as they were done in the late 1800s and 1900s. Um, so a lot of things there that you can purchase and take home for Christmas gifts, visit all of our great craftsmen who are here throughout the year. But just so many fun things to do to keep you entertained all day long. Absolutely. And then, of course, last question for us. Of course, are you all doing anything special for the 31st? Yes. So on October 31st, we do have a candy night. So folks will be able to come and, and collect candy uh, at different displays through the park. Uh, so that'll be a fun experience for folks. And we are going to let uh, adults and kids can wear costumes this year. Mm -hmm. There are, and that's throughout the festival, there are some rules with that. So the best thing to do is go to dollywood.com and check out all the things just to keep everyone safe and have a good time. Awesome, Wes, thank you so much. We really thank appreciate you. it. We'll talk more about the Harvest Festival, the Great Pumpkin Luminites and all that good things and coming up in just a little bit. But Heather and Leslie, we'll send things back over to you. Looks like you're having a blast, Yvonne. I'm so jealous. I wish we were there right now. I know. It's like the perfect <laughs> time. Thank you. <laughs>